Hello and welcome back to another Chris G review video. So today we'll be taking a look at this uh, Sakura water container. <laughs> the reason I chose to do this video is because I've been using uh, this container as my water holder when I go out and I sketch. Uh, if I'm doing any type of like urban sketching or plein air sketching uh, with watercolor, of course, you always have to have your water with you. So this is a nice container that is collapsible and uh, it holds a lot of water and you can take this with you on the go. It's not the smallest of containers. Uh, some containers are accordion-like and they squash down. The only thing about those is that it's only one uh, container. So again, this is made by Sakura. If you don't know the Sakura company, the Sakura company is... Uh, uh, an art supply company and they make uh, all different types of art materials including the Sakura uh, Koi watercolor set or the Sakura watercolor brushes or brush pens. Uh, Sakura makes the Micron, the Pigma Micron pencil, I mean uh, technical pens, uh, erasers, so uh, just a lot of different materials uh, that are in the art world. I'm sure if if you've been into art for any amount of time, you've probably seen Sakura on uh, some product inside of an art store somewhere. Uh, they're usually found around the world. So it's a worldwide brand, but the home of Sakura is in Japan. Today, we're gonna take a look at this. So this is a, a water container. All you do is you put water inside of it. That's what it's for. Is for, of course, cleaning your brushes when you're doing watercolor. And uh, it can be used inside or outside. So you can take this with you on the go, or you can use it inside of your home studio if you don't have a lot of space for large containers. So I'm just going to talk about some of the pluses and some of the things that I like about this after using it for a while and some of the things that I don't really uh, prefer. So one of the things that I really enjoy about this is it's collapsible. So let me open it up for you. So as you can see, each container opens up like this. And then they all have a little tab. Well, two of them have tabs. So this is the smallest container, and this is the largest container, and this is the middle size. So you can take the smallest one, you put it inside of the medium size. So when you take this out of the uh, the largest one, they all have tabs on them. With the tab, you take the tab and you insert the tab into this uh, notch on the side of the largest container. And here's the other one. So as you can see, the one chamber container turns into a three chamber container. And it also has this little handle so you can carry it around like a five-year-old <laughs> with a bucket of sand. But uh, the handle is, I mean, it's, it's nice because what happens is, is if it didn't have a handle on it and you wanted to pick this thing up with water inside, you run the chance of uh, the end containers sliding off of the center container. And you would have to hold it like this, which is kind of weird. So the handle is very uh, nice, especially when you fill up the containers. It, uh, since it's connected to the center container, it keeps it balanced. Even if you only fill up uh, maybe the center container and one of the containers on the side, it still holds the water pretty balanced and it doesn't uh, tip on you like this. It does not have a, a top. There's no top for this container, so you have to carry the water around in some type of other container. What I like to do is I just have this bottle and I take this bottle and refill it with water. And I chose a smaller size because it's just easier to carry around. So I just keep this bottle and then I just keep putting tap water inside of it. And I put this in my backpack and uh, this is the water that I use to fill up this container. So once you fill up the containers, I mean, it's straightforward it's just a bucket so you put the water inside and then you can take the water with you when you're done pour the water out and you can collapse the container 
So you remove the side buckets. And then this is the medium size and this is the small size. The medium size goes in and in the small. And there you go. Now you can put it back in your bag and you're ready to go. When you're putting the buckets back inside, make sure the tabs are on opposite sides of each other. If you try to put the tab in with this side, it does go down, but it does not uh, fit as secure as it does like this. So the good thing about this uh, container is that you do not have to open it up to use it. You can just put water inside of the container like it is right here, and again, the handle works perfectly. So you don't have to make three chambers if you don't want three. If you just want one, just leave it closed and then just put the water in, and then you have one container of water. If you would like two containers, remove the smallest, uh, remove the smallest container, and then what you want to do is you want to clip it in the notch, not on the second container, but in the notch of the largest container, as you can see like that. So now the handle still works pretty well, even though it's off-centered, uh, but then you have two chambers to put your water in, if you would just like two chambers. So there's a couple of different variations that you can do with this. There is not, uh, well, the, the things that I would have preferred is that if there was some way that you could put a cap on this thing so you could keep water inside of it, that would be a nice addition. Or if there were notches to put brushes inside of, I think that would be nice. I guess if you used only the largest container, you could take a brush and lay the brush across in the notches like this. But most of the time, um, if you're using this, you're also having these connected in the notches so then there's no place to put a brush if you're not using it so that's one addition that I would have liked but it's okay it has other pluses that's it on this uh, it's just a bucket of water I mean it's just a bucket to put your water in the good thing about it again is that it's collapsible it comes in two sizes this is the smaller size there's actually one size that's even larger than this uh, that you can get this bucket in and since it's made by the Sakura brand, I'm pretty sure this is readily available in most art stores. So if you do not have a container to put your water inside of, uh, if you like to go outside and sketch or go outside and paint, this could be, you know, the bucket for you. If you're interested in this uh, bucket by Sakura, uh, I'll try to leave a link down below. I don't know if I... I don't know if I will or if I won't. I'll try to get that link for you. And I'll link it down below and uh, you can check out this bucket. It's really inexpensive and I think it will be a good addition if you don't have any other uh, bucket that you can get your hands on to take with you that's collapsible and pretty small. As you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand. And you can get out and you can go sketching. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can make sure you stay tuned for all of the new reviews that will be coming out. Uh, I hope these reviews help you out in your decisions in the future and what products you might want to purchase. And uh, if they do, share the video around to other people who might be interested. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.